Hey guys, my new name for the hire, the seventh hired request is Do You Remember the 80s? <laughs> it's a Phil Collins song, Do You Remember? And I remember when I hear this song, or any song from the 80s with the keyboard and that light rock beat, you know, it just reminds me of the 80s. And, oops. When I was uh, growing up, fond memories. So, Uh, we're doing Do You Remember by Phil Collins for the seventh hired request. Sounds like this. I have a, a piano layered with an electric piano sound. That's what I have here. So if you're wondering, here we go. Hello, my name is Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as thousands and thousands and thousands of other lessons that I've done over the past eight years are on my website webpianoteacher.com that does work on all mobile devices. Um, I have another website called seancheek.com if you're interested in learning how to read sheet music, regular piano sheet music, and you think you stink at it, I have a program that I've developed on there to help you be a better reader, but be warned that you got to work hard, be ready to practice. In fact, I call the sight reading series on there my boot camp sight reading series, uh, but that is seancheek.com. Uh, the best, best place to see what I'm up to, get a hold of me, is Facebook. Just do a Facebook search for uh, webpianoteacher.com, find out what I'm up to. My blog is seancheekblog.com, and on there you can find ways to order custom DVDs if you're not into website memberships, which I understand that if you would rather have a DVD. Now, uh, the only thing about the, the website is you get you know all the stuff I've done, the whole lot of it also the new things that I put up all the time, so get everything. So let's begin. If you have a keyboard, you can layer a sound, kind of tweak it, see if you can emulate the, the Phil Collins <clears throat> 80 sound. But we'll start, uh, we're in the key of F, and we're going to have a C, F, A in the right hand. Now I've added a little bit, okay, to this. Um, you know, I try to be exactly true to the original, but sometimes if the keyboard part doesn't play that much, then I need to add something, you know, to make it sound like the album version, okay? Because you've got drums and bass and, and guitars and keyboards, synthesizers and vocals and, and bass and all that that adds to the whole mix. And if you're only playing piano solo, you got to do something to fill it out a little bit, okay? It may be okay for the keyboard to play a couple of notes here and there on the album version, but if you're playing piano solo, you need a little more, so that's what I've done here. CFA on the right hand, one, three, five. Okay, it's an F chord. And then we're going to go to C, G, which is one and four. And then back to CFA, left hand on an F octave. Now here's the rhythm. Okay. Now you notice on my left hand, I'm playing more than just the F octave. Those of you who follow my lessons all the time know and have learned how to vamp, which is you keep playing that left hand when you feel like it, just to fill it out a little bit, okay? Alright, then we go to the next measure. So we, here we have an A minor chord, C, E, A, 1, 2, 5 for that. And then we keep the C and the E, we change the top note to a G. Then we go back to C, E, A, while the left hand is on an A octave. Then we're going to go to B flat, C, D, F, which is a B flat 2. B flat C D F with one two three five. Let's go left hand on the B flat. Then we have single notes A G, which are part of just the fill for the keyboard. And then we have G C E on the right hand, left hand on the C octave. And then G C F. <coughs> excuse me. And then just a single G after that. Three four five. I feel like I'm going too fast. Some people feel like I go too fast. Push the pause button <laughs> and then uh, figure out what we're doing, and then you can back to it but 
I, I do know I go fast sometimes. Now let's tie all that together, okay? One, two, ready, go. Um, then it repeats, so you do it two times. That little arrow means you repeat it and you go through it again, okay? So the intro goes two times and then the singing starts here and we begin the keyboard fill. And I'll give you a little rhythm to do show you how to give you a rhythm to play for the verse and chorus that will uh, be, be satisfying when you're singing or, or just playing along with the recording if that's what you're doing. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, see you on the website webpianoteacher.com and I'll talk to you later.